Say hello to the Ace Magic 8015. Not your average size mini PC, but with so many minis now on the market, can this vertical standing box stand out from the crowd? Sort of. There are some things the AD15 does really well, like an industry leading 3 year warranty and low fan noise. So props for that. The plastic case looks decent and is fine build quality wise. The AD15 sits on a desk no problem thanks to some rubber feet below and would blend in ok in a home or office environment. What's more important is what's inside. But before that, EZAS Partition Master Professional is a comprehensive storage partitioning app for your PC or server. Resize and extend partitions, clone OS drives, convert MBR to GPT, and even recover lost or broken partitions. Find out more in the video description. The Ace Magic AD15 comes with Intel's i7-11800H, which is an 8-core 16-thread CPU with UHD graphics from yesteryear. At $449 for 16GB of RAM and a 512GB SATA SSD, it's asking a lot. So. Let's see if it delivers. In the box you'll find a HDMI cord, manual and power supply. There's no monitor mount for this one. Opening it up to get to the memory and storage is easy. Two screws and slide off the panel. The Ace Magic AD15 has 16GB of 2666 DDR4 memory and a 512GB M.2 SATA drive with a heatsink. For the price, I think NVMe should have been included. Anyway, it comes with Windows 11 Pro pre-installed. I tested Ubuntu off a USB drive and it was all good if you want to run Linux instead. The USB Type-C on the front is 10 gigabit and supports display out up to 4K 60Hz. There's also a pair of USB 3 5 gigabit ports and an audio jack. On the back is the barrel jack power input, gigabit LAN, dual HDMI 2.0, and another dual USB 3 5 gigabit. Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2 are included. You can run a total of three displays on this mini. All right, let's see where the Ace Magic AD15 with the i7-11800H falls in the current stack of minis. In single core, it's near the bottom of the chart, just staying ahead of AMD's Ryzen 5800H. That's just over 1% ahead of the 11400H. It's still plenty for most applications, but there are lots of faster units now as well. The multi-core score is a similar deal, almost matching the Ryzen 5800H again. That's a 25% improvement over the 11400H. The AD15 is near the bottom in video encoding, but it's still over 24% ahead of the 11400H. Integrated graphics is not a strong suit of both 11th gen Intel chips. The 11800H is behind the rest, and no, faster memory wouldn't save it. However, it is 90% ahead of the 11400H in DX11 and 87% in DX12. This is fine for web browsing and office work, but if you want a game, look upwards on the chart and take your pick. I wanted to test an esports game like Valorant, but this mini PC doesn't support secure boot, so this game can't be played at all. I tried finding the secure boot option in the BIOS, but didn't see it, so... Mamma mia! There's a reason I test Valorant on every mini PC, and this is it. It can't play other games of course, but I'd just forget about gaming on this mini altogether. It's just not for that. The i7-11800H is better than I thought it would be with 4K video editing, thanks to Intel's QuickSync hardware decoding for H.264 files. This video project of mine is reasonably responsive at half playback resolution. The cooling solution inside the Ace Magic AD15 is really good. The CPU maxed out at 86C. What impressed me most is how quiet it is compared to other minis. And that low noise level is with a 97 watt max power draw. Idle power draw at 15 watts is also high. Yep. These 11th gen chips aren't very power efficient. The included M.2 SATA drive performs well, mostly maxing out the interface and sequential read and write speeds. It also didn't get very hot and won't thermal throttle. Alright, let's summarize the findings. The Ace Magic 8015 comes with an industry leading 3 year warranty. It runs cool and is very quiet compared to the rest. 
the low fan noise is a big, big plus for me. I also do like vertical mini PCs, so there's that. But graphics performance is weak. It's not very power efficient because of the 11th gen Intel chip inside, and for what you get, the price is a big ask. Overall, it's a good mini PC that's let down by its CPU and asking price. However, it does make for a quiet workstation and can handle video editing pretty well. If you're looking for an Intel mini PC for video editing that has more graphics performance, check out the GMK Tech Knuckbox K3 Pro right here. Cheers!